This is Thomas Lyons for Raps on TV down here at Whitley Amateur Boxing Club. Fortunate to be joined by one of their coaches. Yeah. How you doing? I'm alright, thanks, yeah. Hey, would you like to introduce yourself to the uh, Raps on TV platform? My name's Earl Stewart. I'm one of the coaches in Whitley Amateur Boxing. I've been here uh, about three and a half years now. And um, so we'll be doing well, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, a, a tight knit gym uh, down here in Whitley. I mean, what uh, motivates kind of you to you know continue with the uh, training what do you kind of feel and um, the the club the club resembles in terms of uh bringing through amateur boxes at the moment um it's well we're in the right area um sort of like Whitley to get the right people sort of like to, to box around here um because a lot of them got aggression and we get and nathan gets a lot of them off the street and in there in the daytime training them and everything and um, we got some hungry hungry fighters here we have I've known Nathan since we've been uh, been kids and everything. Um, I used to take him to boxing when he was a little kid, and then we just um, we just met up after years afterwards. And he said he opened a club and um, he said they don't want to come and help, and and I've come and joined him. Yeah, I mean we had uh, two set obviously the younger guys today doing their session, then obviously yeah. the adults, and I mean putting them through their paces. Yeah. I mean, is that what it's all about? Boxing, kind of yeah, pushing. Yeah. Uh, these guys to the, the limits and kind of seeing what they yeah, can get they out of themselves. Have to, um, they, have to push, they have to push themselves really. So it's all right us telling them, but they have to push themselves. It's all right, um, when you get in the ring, you have to be really fit. It's no good being half fit, because your opponent could be fully fit. And then, sort of, and then that's it. That's um, sort of like, um, and you're wishing your head that you've trained just as hard as your opponent. Yeah, and for someone that was kind of uh, being introduced to boxing for the first time, a relative sort of novice to boxing, what would be your uh, best kind of word of advice for them starting off? I'd say don't, don't, um, don't push yourself straight away. It would be a little bit of time. Just listen and you learn. And um, we, we, usually, we usually don't um, put anybody out till about a year, um, till we know that they're perfectly mentally right and physically right. Yeah. Sort of like, and um, we haven't been, um, we haven't uh, really sort of done too bad for for a new club. Yeah. We've done quite well, really, with some of our fighters and everything. National champion, um, Kitty, what trains with the English squad, and um, a lot of unbeaten fighters we've got at the moment. So yeah, yeah we've done well. Yeah, and I mean the club's relatively active in terms of the uh, the England boxing setup. I mean, you guys have been going to numerous uh, shows over the past yeah. sort of. You know, a few months. I mean, how um, much is it of? Uh, I mean, for the boxers themselves to have the opportunity to fight on yeah. uh, amateur shows, is it all about kind of gaining experience and pushing them through the ranks? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. We we, um, we give them a, a few fights to, 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 to build them up first, and hopefully they're going to go through. They're going to go through the ranks. Hopefully, most of them are going to fight the nationals. Um, last year we had um, three in the final in the last year, nationals. The year before we had. Um, uh, I think yeah, we have three again in the final like the year before. Yeah, we did that. And as you see, Jay just before he won that, he won the nationals this year. Yeah, he did. Um, but yeah, we do we, we're doing really well. Yeah. And you a big boxing fan yourself? You yeah, watched? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you yeah, manage to uh, catch the fight from the weekend? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, good, it was, good, it was a good fight. It was good. I, I was well surprised with um, uh, Chrisy Banks. Um, he looks he looks very good, but. We also we also said before the fight is did the girl have one too many hard fights? Yeah. We knew that before. If the right the girl turns up, he beats him. Yeah. But uh, the girls had too many hard fights, and it was it was um you max time. Yeah. So when personally, when do you sort of uh, did you see the girl was on the uh, the slide? Do you think it was after the uh, the Badu Jack fight, or um sort of oh, like um, you touched on their harder fights? Well, we don't you don't know really. You just you just got to think yourself. Has he had too many hard fights? So you don't know until he gets in the, in the ring and that next fight. Yeah. You won't know until that, until sort of like whether he's had them hard fights. And it showed. It showed a little bit in his last fight, and it definitely showed in the fight against um, um Eubanks and everything. It definitely showed there. And he's done the best thing. He's done the best thing. He's retired. And Groves has done the same thing too. Best thing for because we've got so many up and coming fighters coming through. And in their heads, they're, they're on the wrong end of the age. Yeah. They might not beat them, so why do they want to be just a journeyman for these young boys coming through? And they're world champions and that, see? So yeah. I understand where they're coming from. And I mean, the Degel Eubank fight was on a massive platform, ITV box yeah. office. Do you, so do you think, kind of, if you, I mean, 
look over James DeGale's career, he's obviously two-time world champion, yeah. Olympic gold medalist. Do you think those um, kind of so-called paydays or those high-profile uh, fights were the best way for him to cap off a long career? Yeah, definitely, definitely. He, he, he retired saying, I, I won the world, world title twice and I was an Olympic gold medalist. And um, it's not a lot of people can say that. Yeah. So he's, um, he could just um, retire now. The thing is, they said, they said before the fight with Eubanks, uh, whoever loses is going to retire. But the thing is, if Eubanks would have lost, he shouldn't need to retire because the simple fact is, he's still a young man. Yeah. But the girl, he can retire because like he just did, because he's already been a two-time world champion and Olympic champion. So there's no, no good going through and, and fighting for nothing after that. Yeah, and sort of stripping boxing down to the, the grassroots level. I mean, how much is boxing uh, a form of sort of instilling discipline uh, for young people that are potentially not going down the right direction or haven't got sort of a focus or a purpose um, at sort of any stage of their, their lives? Well, it, well if you... Um, if you're sort of like really wanting to sort of like um, learn boxing rather than go on the street and fight on the street and everything and get yourself disciplined in a club and maybe rather than you sort of going on the street messing about on the street fighting on the street maybe you have, might have that talent to come and box and be disciplined and learn yeah. and get somewhere in life and make a bit of money maybe in, in the future in boxing yeah. rather than be on the street in a prison in a prison cell doing nothing yeah and did so, you uh, do a bit of boxing uh, no, back I just, in the day I just trained a lot and studied the boxing um, from since I've, I've been a kid and sort of like, done a lot of the training um, and with Nathan, took Nathan as a kid and I, I just followed mostly all these fights and um, Michael Spock was about in a, uh, a younger day and all so, so I've, just, I've just been involved in boxing yeah I've just been involved in boxing and obviously so today putting us through our paces I mean yeah. teaching the fundamentals yeah. uh, the, yeah. you know the jab the double yeah. jab backhand so sort of how imperative is it to teach um, guys that are kind of relatively new to the gym the, the basics uh, before they start to um, yeah. develop uh, more skill it's best, yeah, because we have to teach everybody the basics because everybody gets their style after. Everybody gets their style after. So you teach everybody the basics and uh, and then from that basics, they will learn their own style. Yeah. They will learn, they will learn, learn how to throw their own jab after that and move their own body around and if they want to slip and if they want to move it, if they want to be a dancer or if they want to be a, a sort of stand, someone who's going to stand there and, and brawl. So they will learn that afterwards. You just you've got to show them all the basics all the basics and, and put, put them with a part of what they're going to they're going to sort of learn off of and um sort of like from there on it's just down to them how they get and then then, we, then they'll be doing sparring and then sort of like they can sort of like, um produce their, um their work in the ring and out here on the floor yeah and obviously we've seen uh, sort of tyson fury advocate for you know yeah. mental health and sort of said that yeah. um boxing's a 90 percent sort of mental game as yeah. opposed to it being physical i mean would you kind of share the the same sentiment that boxing takes a lot um sort of mental um strength as opposed to just the physical side yeah, of because the sport? because so it, it, it do in a way because um you got to fit yourself you've got to be sometimes you look at your opponent and or you look at your your fighter's opponent and you think well, You've got to be mental to fight that geezer. Yeah. Sort of right. Sort of right. And some people just um, is, is just block that out, and they would just go in there and fight no matter who who it is. You put them against opponent. You put them against, and they just they just go in and fight because um you have to have that um mentality that fear nobody. Yeah. Because once you start fearing everybody in the boxing world or in the fighting world, then that's it. Yeah. That's it. Sort of right. You can't fear nobody when when you go in that ring. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you uh, giving me some of your time today and uh, it was a pleasure coming down to the gym, yeah. getting in a session and talking to some of the, uh, the amateur boxers and obviously yourself with a wealth of knowledge um, in the boxing game. So right, I appreciate <laughs> so, no, I appreciate yeah. you giving me some of your Thank time. You very much. Thank you very much. Thomas Lyons, Raps on TV, down here at Whitley Amateur Boxing Gym. Errol, Earl. nice to meet you yeah. and uh, pri privileged getting you on the, uh, the platform. Thank you very much. Top yeah. man. Thank you very much.